tano kwa kuelekea kwenye mchezo wetu wa kufuzu chan uh, mchezo dhidi ya Uganda mchezo ambao utachezwa kesho Jumapili saa kumi za jioni kwenye uwanja wa Benjamin Mkapa Dar es Salaam kwa kilo cha shilingi 5 uh, VIP shilingi 2000 upande wa mzunguko baada ya mambo yote ya kuangalia namna gani maandalizi yanavyokuwa kwa kikosi cha Taifa Stars pamoja na kuelekea mchezo wenyewe kwa maana ya wapinzani uh, Uganda ambao tayari wako hapa Dar es Salaam leo ni siku ambayo ni upande wa makocha kuweza kuzungumza uh, kiufundi kuelekea kwenye mchezo mwenyewe na mbele yenu tunaye kocha Kim Posen uh, head coach of Taifa Stars accompanied uh, by uh, team captain Aishi Manola coach welcome to the press Asante sana and a warm welcome to all of you and to the press meeting here at uh, Karuma. Tomorrow we are going to play the first of two matches for the final round of the Chan qualification. And uh, we are well prepared uh, for the match uh, tomorrow. If you look at it from a physical aspect, the players are coming back from the pre-season in the clubs and they have played two rounds. Uh, before uh, coming in for, for the camp. So I expect all players to be fit after they just completed the pre-season uh, uh, in their clubs. Mentally, we are also ready. And what are we ready for? We are ready for a tough uh, match against uh, Uganda. When we play Uganda, it's always a kind of a physical game. It's a tough game, it's an aggressive game. We know them, they know us, and we know that the style of Uganda is to play directly. It's a hard-working team, and they are aggressive. So we are not only prepared physically, we are also prepared mentally. So we are ready for this kind of game. And we have been working on, on, on mental uh, toughness also, because in football, it's important that whatever happened in the game, you stay consistently and you, are, you, you keep your mentally approach, focus on your performance. Lastly, I will say, I really hope that the fans, the football lovers of, of Tanzania, they will come to Mkapa Stadium, give love, give support to Taifa Stars. Show up and cheer and be behind the team. Because the players, they need it. It is what I call make a difference, the X factor. It's always when you play at home and you can hear that it, there's a lot of expect fans behind you that gives the extra, it makes a difference. So I really hope that all the fans will show up, be behind the team, because end of the day, this is our national team. And we all, we all have one dream as Tanzanian that we achieve, that we want to go for the China, China final. We know to go to the Chan, uh, Chan final, yeah, we have to beat Uganda over two games. And we are starting at home, and let us at home get that X factor from the fans, so the players they really go there and be pushed forward to top perform. There's no doubt, to get a good result in the first game against Uganda, we need to hit the top performance of the players. And to hit that top performance of the players, yes, it is the players, they are ready for it, but as a football player, when you play it for your national team and you play at home and you can hear the cheering, the support behind you, that gives you the extra. It makes the difference. So I look forward to see all of you and as many uh, and hopefully a lot of spectators, fans on Mkapa Stadium tomorrow at 4 p.m. Thank you very much. The, the days we had, the number of days we had, we have worked tactically, tactically each and every day. I think I also told earlier on the press, earlier on the press meeting, we have uh, different topics. One day we train defending, one day we train attacking, one day we train transition. We put all that together. So we have been training every aspect of the tactical area as well. Uh, congratulations to Zanzibar Heroes that they beat uh, Uganda uh, second team. Because when I look at the team and I see the team they played in, in uh, Ethiopia, the two games, it was only one or two players uh, from the starting line there. So I've also told the players that the team we are going to play tomorrow will be a completely different team 
uh, than that was playing in Zanzibar yesterday. So we are prepared. We know the player from the, we, they know us. We know them. So I will say, in all aspects, we are. We, there is a very good atmosphere in the camp. We've been working tactically, technically, uh, to 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 work as a unit, as a strong team. If, the only thing I would have liked to have, I would have loved to have time to play one international friendly. That is always good to play an international friendly because it, you have answers and international friendly give you the questions. When you don't have time for that, which was not possible this time because the number of days we could not have an international friendly, so sometimes you are missing some answers, but we will get that to, uh, tomorrow and hopefully we will get some good answers to the questions and I'm sure Every game you will get some answers which you have to, to, to use for the second and final match one week later. Thank another you. Question. Wait, another question? Oh. Yes, the team keeps on changing. The, I mean the... Which I know I can rely on. And a number of these players are also playing regularly in the Premier League, which is also important. We all know it's an aspect that sometimes the best players in the country, they will go to the big clubs and then because the big clubs they have a high number of foreign players, they are not getting much playing time. This is the balance. But we have the backbone of the team, like Aishi Manula, he has been the keeper for a long time. Also, if you look up in the centre, we have the backbone. At the same time, it's also important in a team that you get some new players in to push everybody to the to the maximum. So I'm happy to have a, a few uh, some some new players for this camp as well, and they are doing well, and they learn about our the way we want to approach the game. So it's always a balance. You need to. I prefer to have some young new player, but you also depend on a strong backbone of the team who have been playing consistently for some time. One last question. One last question for the coach. Kwa kufuzu Chan, kwa niyaba ya wachizaji wa Tanzania wanataka kusikia mnaelekea vitu kwa kuchizwa ina. Mina dhani kikubwa, mwarimu wa memaliza kila kitu. Ya nieta kama nitajaribu kuhungia kwa namna gani, nita kwa sasa na tafsidi kila macho wa meungia. Lakini, kutuka kwa wachizaji ni kwamba tumejanda vizuri, kuringana na vila mbavu mwarimu amekuwa akitufundisha na nini namna ambavyo wanataka tufanye kwenye mchezo wetu tumekuwa tukijitolea kwa namna yoyote ile kuhakikisha tunafanya kila macho mwalimu anataka kwa hiyo kubwa ni kwamba tunaomba wa Tanzania tunaomba wadau wa michezo waweze kutusupport na kujitokeza kwa wingi kwenye uwanja wa Mkapa kuhakikisha wanatupa support ya kutosha na wanashangilia ili kuhakikisha tunafanya kile inawezekana kwa ajili ya kupata ushindi yeah. No, come on. Can I na tunawajua Uganda na Uganda wanakuja kwetu wanajua Tanzania ni nani. Kwa hiyo itakuwa ni mechi ya ushindani. Itakuwa ni mechi ambayo itakuwa ni battle to battle. Kwetu sisi tunaamini tuko nyumbani na tutatumia uwanja wetu wa nyumbani kama wenyeji kuhakikisha tunafanya kila linalowezekana tunapata ushindi. Kwa wachezaji kama tulivyosema tunawajua Uganda na Uganda wanatujua vizuri sisi. Kwa hiyo uh, michezo yetu ya mwanzo ya awali ambayo tulicheza dhidi ya ya, 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 ya Somalia ni kwamba ilikuwa ni michezo ambayo tulikuwa tumetoka eh, tumetoka kuni, tumetoka likizo na tuliweza kurejea na ndio maana hata wanakuta watu wengi waliamini ni ni, 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 ni ni zile mechi mbili zingekuwa ni mechi rahisi zaidi kwetu lakini zilikuwa ni mechi ngumu kulingana na watu ambao tulikuwa tumetoka likizo tumerejea kwa hiyo pre season tulikuwa hatujapata kwa hiyo ilikuwa mwalimu lazima achanganye mambo mawili kwa wakati mmoja na muda ulikuwa sio rafiki kwa mwalimu kwa hiyo saa hizi tayari tusharudi kwenye vilabu vyetu tukafanya tukapata pre-season nzuri kwenye vilabu vyetu na tumeshaanza kucheza games nadhani kila kila timu kwenye ligi tushacheza mechi mbili mbili kwa hiyo namna gani tayari mili yetu iko fit kwa ajili ya kupambana na tunaamini Uganda timu nzuri lakini kwa 
the way now tulivyo nadhani itakuwa ni bato kubwa na tuna kila sababu ya kushinda kwa sababu malengo ya watanzania malengo ya wachezaji kuhakikisha tunapata matokeo chanya na tunahakikisha tunavuka kwenye raundi kwenda chani kwa sababu tulishaona eh, tulishaonja utamu wa chani na tuna kama wachezaji tuna tumeona faida ya kwenda kushiriki chani kwa hiyo sasa hizi tuna kila sababu ya kurudi tena na ili turudi tena lazima tuhakikishe tunapata matokeo chanya na tunashinda mchezo wetu